All right. Okay, so is spiritual work a bumpy ride and is that okay? And do we have periods of things going really, really well and then things getting very, very difficult? And that's a great, a great, um, a great question, you know, because a lot of spiritual students want to do spiritual work and uh, often it seems like things get more difficult uh, or they've had other times in their lives where things were easier. And now that they're doing advanced spiritual work, it seems like the war started and everything's really, really difficult. Uh, so is the, is the student doing something wrong or are they on the wrong path or, or, or what other things could be happening? So that's a great question. I think um, uh, my teacher, D Dr. David R. Hawkins, was great in offering a lot of um, consolation to advanced spiritual students who have a lot of difficulties. Um, basically, one way, one of the frames was um, if you if you commit to God to reach unconditional love or enlightenment, uh, basically what you're asking for is that um, you you have the uh, you basically is that all the things that are in your way to reach enlightenment or unconditional love need to come up for you to resolve. So it, it can mean that you're going to be it feels like you're being beaten up left, right, and center for all the stuff that wasn't hitting you is now coming up one after the other. Uh, for you to re transcend or resolve or forgive or let go of. Um, so it can um, so often um, as uh, David Hawkins, if you look at the lives of saints or Dr. Hawkins own life, he had 23 illnesses, many of them life-threatening, all kinds of uh, temptations, demonic attacks, um, all kinds of things going on there. And uh, he would also have flashbacks of his past lives and all kinds of karmas hitting him from left, right and center. So um, as you make that high, to the level of the spiritual commitment you make and the ferocity is going to bring up stuff. And um, so not only can you be beaten left, right and center, but also um, um, that you can face um, with all these belief systems, they're, they're, they're also uh, tests. They're also temptations, which you can either pass and transcend, or sometimes they can pull you down. So if you know if you're a donut addict, um, and you and you commit to reaching unconditional love or enlightenment, you got to let go of the attachment to donuts. So if the next day someone offers you a, a free bag of donuts and you take the donuts, you know it can it's um, it can sort of make the journey tougher because um, you wanted to be free, but you you just failed the test for the free donuts in the supermarket. So so. Um, and, and that can send you into a darker place because um, uh, uh, also as you become higher and higher, uh, it brings up the collective ego's defense mechanisms. You know, pe people get jealous, people want to pull you down. Uh, and also if you start talking about the absolute truth, uh, it brings up a lot of um, antagonism from um, the collective ego. Um, so it's it's very uncomfortable to speak of um, oh, for many who are still um, very much tied to the, uh, their allegiance to their limited ideas. So also um, to look at, you know, for example, if you're a spiritual student doing advanced work and let, let's say last year was quite good and quite peaceful, and this year you seem to be um, having a lot of uh, difficult stuff come up to be resolved, uh, that's okay. and. Um, I sort of see that as um, um, you become eligible at different times in life to let go of different karmas from past lifetimes. So, and there's a, I mean, if you look at it, um, or if you did past life uh, 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 kinesiologic uh, research, or you did uh, past life hypnosis regression, uh, then you'd see how, you know, at different points in life and in different circumstances, different you did different things to other people. And so they're just waiting, these karmas are waiting to uh, release in different circumstances. So um, uh, as Hawkins said, I thought it was really, uh, he said it in such a nice way. He said, like, if, you're, if, you're, um, if your wife leaves with another man and the Mercedes, just say that pays that karma off and be grateful. <laughs> You've had a chance to let go of something you did in a, in a past lifetime and just um, just let it go. So um, I would say, though, if you're seeking uh, um, 
um, if you look at the life of Jesus Christ and of Buddha, I mean, Buddha said he was beset by demons. You know, um, the demons weren't very happy with someone trying to reach enlightenment. Uh, Jesus Christ talked about Lucifer and the temptations. So, um, uh, if you if you pursue with vigor, um, uh, uh, dissolving everything, you're not only clearing your own karma, your own limitations and identifications. You know, you're also connected to the global, the collective ego. So, you're also working at that level as well. Um, trying to, uh, so for, for this thing, it's okay. You know, it's like. Um, um, people who've who've been students before, it's just good to be part of a group, or to have a spiritual mentor as you're doing this work. And you know, they'll tell you they went through stuff. Uh, like uh, if you probably spoke to Buddha, he said, you know, yep, the the demons attacking you left, right, and center. I went through that, and uh, give guidance on how to you know resolve those um, different things that come up at different levels of consciousness and different stages of the spiritual journey. Okay, so I'll stop there.